and uh, a couple of the Spadebox remakes is remakes with like the Alive Boys and stuff. Okay. Well, we started, guys. Here we go. I'm just gonna watch uh, Bud Liam on rollout. Hopefully, it's a good mid. Looks like the demos are gonna be exactly Pretty much even. Yep. No one's taken any real advantage yet. The soldiers are finally jumping now. Timbo's Timbo. down. Yeah. Wow, crushed. But still down really too. Early. These are very even trades. Wow. But yeah, um, currently Royd's kind of just hanging around the back. He's currently gone behind Bud. And with only Med and Demo on point, they're, they've capped it, but... Yeah, it's... Actually, Royt went down earlier. We've got Deadly Hunter just staying alive, trying, oh, to, right. trying to pop the Medic. And he gets him! He wow. gets him! Yeah. Big pick. Lolly Factory, aka LF, got 70% Uber charge, so they're probably going to be able to walk back into mid, I imagine. That's a really big pick, hey. And if they're fast, they'll be able to get in before Mike respawns. Uh, but Bud are holding forward here, which is interesting. They're kind of... They look like they want to pop him early. But it seems that mates are going to go through the window area. Just above grass. And they've popped it quite early. That's and a they... really, really early pop. Yeah, they haven't got really anything. been able to... Oh, they get Timbo with it. But... but... There's a I back think... cap! Ooh. Ooh. They might get this as well. He might get it. He doesn't die, yeah. Oh, oh. Help arrives, but that's still a that's a good play by Randy because it really slows the mid cap in. Oh, but they've lost so many players at mid. I think yeah, Simo I doesn't mean, realize how much he needs to back out just here. Mike goes down again. That was quite interesting because when Randy went for the back cap, uh, they had two people go back, whereas you then had four v three, like a four v three situation on mid, and yeah. Bud went quite badly from that. Yeah, it didn't go well. Not having the scout there. Trying to get the, if the back cat works, you know, it's a great play. But yeah, because yeah. it didn't work, I think it made holding that mid without heals was just impossible. And, and it eventually uh, Mike, went. yeah, Mike also backed out through saw, whereas his pocket opted to go grass. So now, uh, mates will have Faluberad coming into last. And Randy is on sniper, but they're gonna pop early, so it won't matter. No kills just yet. Deadly Hunter goes down to a trap. You know, just what we're talking about with this map being hard to push the last. Mm. Wow. Well, Bud used a heavy and they kind of bunched around the middle point. And I yeah, don't think... Uh, yeah, I don't think mates really knew what to focus and what to target. Yeah, maybe um, just... Uh, and LF goes down near mid with Randy. That's a, that's a big pick. That'll make pushing mid a bit easy. Uh. Well, they've got full Uber ads, so... They I should be able to get it. If they're gonna see this sticky trap that Cab's got put up, but oh yeah, just on the crate. Yeah, they got Ma to mate, go wow, they popped really early. They need a kill here. They can't not get a kill. And Dai's gone down to a, the trap, so no kills with the Uber, and they've lost two players. Royce currently on top. They yeah. didn't actually notice him. He stayed on. And top there's a back cap as well. Yeah, oh. this has gone bad very quickly. <laughs> Roy killing everyone on two HP. <laughs> And this should be a last cap. They, they have two players respawning now for Bud, but I don't know if they're going to be able to do much because there's a lot of players coming in for Mate. They need to get in. That Sultan needs to get in there right now. And that's that should be the first round. Yeah, and that, yeah. Oof. I yeah, mean, that's... it's interesting, yeah. Um, what I've been noticing is that out of both teams, when they Uber on the mid, coming from their second. They both Ubered really, really early, yeah. and the other team's players were already in a really good position to back out easily and dance around that Uber. And yep. then they, yeah, both teams cleaned up post Uber. Demo's just kind of peppering each other. No, no real damage done just yet. There's, the soldiers are kind of taking position for, uh, for mate, but oh, Liam is, Gonna go down here, maybe. Backs out. Mate's still going across point. Yeah, Bud just couldn't didn't take any ground that mid. It seems like Mate like delayed both their soldiers, eventually jump them up, but Bud weren't even up top contesting, so Well Randy went down really early, I think, and that was kind of the kicker. That was Mate's chance to go in and go balls deep.
and they did so well. It's still in yep. though, so... Yeah, Mike did well to back out there. It's, it's no point, like, when you lose that many players, just trying to ham it out on mid. Just better off to back. Yeah, and he's kept these Uber, so it's an equal Uber situation on last. And again, we have a snake water last push, so... What would they think of? Randy's on Sniper for... for Bud. I think... Mate will probably want to suicide a player, maybe come up on a different class. Ooh, Cell goes Cell got down. trapped there, yeah. I think that was the goal, but... And Mate will just hold close here, and you know what, if Bud try and push, Davy is more than willing to just single into them, I think. Yeah, I mean, they're actually really close here, and Randy's kind of trying to inch forward. A really dangerous spot, and he will get punished for it. Yep. That's a, that's a good pick. I think that's what they need. They're going yeah, in now. Yeah, they're looking to come in left. They do, do. Yep. Bud pop as well. I think Davio looks like he's just trying to jump out at this point. Interesting solo Uber. Uh, yeah. Force? Davey kind they of, get the yeah. force, but like, that's about it. They don't get anything else with it, so... A strange push. Doesn't get anywhere. Well, not really a push, I guess. It's kind of like a reshuffle. It's just an Uber trade, yeah. Kind of reset and the tables. Bud have a like an eight percent advantage, but I don't think it'll matter. And now Die is on sniper and Randy on heavy, so everyone's getting a chance. <laughs> I don't you know what he's trying to aim at. On, yeah, you see this a lot on Snake Loss. Oh, good pilot cab. Yeah, yeah, but. You see this a lot on Snake Lasts, kind of the heavy sniper it's so play. It's so hard to push. It's a hard yeah. to push last. Like I was saying, the, it's the length plus the way the height works on this map. Mm, mm. It, oh. It's really hard to push it. You don't need Uber to hold it a lot of the time. You can actually hold it without a medic sometimes, yeah, which is yeah. just shocking. What was interesting there is that Davey got forced out from right roller and got trapped and died. And, and as we're saying, that, that self goes yeah. down. But are coming in from under. They're already on second now. And they've popped for trade of the Ubers. They but lose they lose their Roma, but they I don't oh LF's trapped here. But there's so many players on last for mate. I think they're actually gonna cap. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they will. Um, well, get punished for that uh, Uber decision they made. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, um what basically happened was Mike Mike and his pocket basically went through lower, and they Ubered in, but Mike got stuck just in the under area of second, and he had to back out to last, whereas all of Mate's players simply went for last. Yeah. And they didn't seem to care, and they had buffs. Uh, I don't think the bug players had them, so yeah. Bora in it again, and Ramsey just rushing the demo straight away, but goes down. Uh, couldn't quite get him, he's being healed the whole time, and it looks like Mate just white but on mid, basically. Liam going for a big jump, but I don't think it's going to accomplish Marsh. He's going for the med here. He got a pipe, but... Oh, bad luck. Dies to his own damage, excuse me. Yeah, uh, LF only survived on about 25 20, HP 22. There. Yeah. <laughs> Deadly Hunter, gotta say, it almost bra. Hmm. But I yeah, think... mates, yeah. One of the keys about this map, the reason, okay, if you ignore that last, okay, sorry, don't ignore. Last is hard to push, so I think I, sh I would always say try and kill them on second or get the uber pops on second. But made of ubered straight in, they uber the scout, but he got knocked by stickies. There's a pyro for Bud trying to do work, but three down for Bud already. And it looks like this could be another round for Mate, yeah. and that's half time. That was really quick. Yeah, mates, uh, mates, general uber pushes have been really impressive. Yep, just like you were saying, Davey Eye, yeah, Davey Eye's doing really well. I think it was just one uber maybe that was a little, like the one where he went in and just rotated. Yeah, yeah. Didn't really do much, but, uh. But, at the same time, without uber, no one else died. He was the only one in, uh, he yeah. and his med were able to back up, so. But it looks like, are we starting again, or? No, not yet. They haven't read it up. But that was a quick 3-0 for, for Mate, and honestly, based off the way that both teams played just then, I wouldn't be surprised if they take another two rounds and went on to Badlands.
Mm. So if you guys are just joining us or not aware, so the maps for tonight for these guys, obviously we're on Snake at the moment, and this is the first map. And the next map would be Badlands, and if uh, um, that one, after that one we're tied up, we're going to go to Gully Wash for a decider. It's currently 3-0 to mates. Yeah. A really Another quick 3 too. Another interesting thing to note is that uh, out of the top damages, Cab had 3.2k, followed by Liam, uh, Bud's demo at 2.5, and then Royt at just under Liam's damage. So currently wow. Royt's out damaging both Cell and Davy. That's... He's out damaging Cell and Davy? Yeah. Wow. It's both demos with uh, mate with Cab from mate uh, well, in the lead, and then Roy. I did call him as my MVP, and I I wouldn't be surprised if he's top fragging, to be honest either. It looks like he might. Yeah, he is. Thirteen to three. Well, here we go, guys. Second half. Let's see if we can get a couple rounds for Bud, because I think we'd all like to see a close game. Mid is all yours, Dubious. Well, currently Cab was far earlier than uh than the other demo, but it seems that both of Bud's scouts are rushing him. In fact, Cab got knocked into right uh, kitchen and oh, was wow. taken down quite early, and does, didn't seem to matter though. Yeah, Liam actually got knocked up into the air by I think it was Royt. Takes four damage and dies. All of a sudden, like I think it was one bomb from Davy I just then. Kills two players, Deadly Hunter wipes the other, that's four people down in a matter of seconds and it went from a two player advantage to Bud to every Complete single wide. player down, yeah. yeah. The and, exact same time too. And Cab is on, no, he was on only on Spy for a second, I was going to say, I've never seen a demo off class to Spy. <laughs> but they've got a uh, uh, die is uh, sniping on last, and they have Randy on heavy too, so they're, they're definitely holding up, trying to hold this last here, and... Mates have Ubered in left. Mates have Ubered in, and Mike goes down straight away. Oof. That's not going to be good for the hold. Simo down two, Randy down now. Mate, they focused over this their point. heavy really well with that Uber. That uh, was, Cab was able to yeah. rush in, get the med really quickly, and then both uh, one of the scouts and Cab just focused that heavy with the Uber. And yeah, then once it was again, just solid stepping Ubers. stones. Another solid Uber by mate. Davey, I must uh, just be doing work. Good calls from him to focus different targets. And it looks like Cells beat him to mid again, but uh, damage not really happening just yet. And he's getting rushed by one of the Bud Scouts and jumps now as well. That's a big jump Really by aggressive Timbo. play, yeah. But it doesn't really seem to be paying off for them. LF is still up. Oh. Uh, there's all the players on butter really low. Simo only on 8 health. But uh, I think LX can... Oh, Deadly Hunter wants to go for this. It's currently a 2v2 situation. Scout and med versus demo med. I, if I was uh, the demo med, I would push them really aggressively. But it seems like they're just going to sit on the point and uh, push him out. Yeah, mates are just going to back up. And Good decision. Will take the point, yeah. Good decision. No, no need to risk it all when you're already in front. Yeah, we Ooh. have another equal Uber situation. Yep. But this time on second, I don't think we've actually seen this in this entire no, game. No, we've, we've seen lots of last pushes, but this is going to be a second hold by but, mate. But yeah. uh, Dai gets a really quick pick on Deadly Hunter, so... And LF has popped already. He's at 50% by the time that Bud popped. Mike drops, drops Simmer though, in the Uber. Bud. Oh, LF gets a kill on Mike. <laughs> med on med. And there's only Liam up for Bud. He's trying to cap the point. He is going to get it, but I think he's going to go down pretty much straight away to Roy. Yeah. And this is going to be should be a quick recap for for Mate. And they've got no Uber advantage after that, just because uh, LF was off healing targets for so long. Mm. I think um I think it'll come back to a stalemate again. I don't think that Mates can push mid off that. It's basically no. equal players now. It's okay, another second fight. To be honest, much more interesting than a fast push on Snake. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 
Is there one thing about the way Bud have been playing that you think is stopping them from beating Mate here? Like, do you think it's just DM and it's that simple, or do you think that maybe their Uber timings are just not quite there? I'm not sure. Um, what I've been noticing though is that mates have been bunching up post Uber a lot better. Like, after the post Uber fights, generally mates will have four or five people around their combo. Whereas Bud will have already lost a player on the flank, and then they've got about three or four players in that yeah. post Uber fight. So I think mates are simply outnumbering them in where it counts. Yep. Here we go. Simo and Mike have gone through that window. Looking like they're going in. Simo goes down before the Uber's popped. Yeah, that was Lots really of weird. Lots of now by, Ma uh, by Bud, but... They've killed a lot of players, actually. LF has gone down. Only two left up for Mate, but... Davey I picks off Mike just before he goes down himself. Deadly Hunter gonna go down. Bud should go for this quickly. And it looks like they'll get it. They'll get it, yeah. And there we go. Four First one. point for Bud, yeah. First blood. So hopefully... That's the sign of a much, much tighter game. Come back. Another mid. Hopefully a comeback. At least a tighter game, that's all I want. Liam actually getting to mid first. And he's playing really aggressive here. He's, he's yeah. pushing right across the point and Cab down already. So that's a really big play from Liam and the scout that rushed. But, but Cell getting behind. Kills Mike. He just walked above and... Ooh. Everyone dies. Yeah. Everyone dies very quickly. LF gets another kill. My goodness. Good man has no mercy. Has no mercy. Time has been added. Well, it looks like, mate, will take a uh, second now, and it should be a last push for them. Dyer's gone on to NG for this hold. We've got Randy on heavy, and otherwise normal classes, but... I don't think Mate are going to delay this very much. I think they're just going to buff everyone up. Wait for players, yeah, Wait buff. Wait for players, buff up. Everyone have heals, multi in. And it looks like they'll be ready to go any second now. Yeah, they're going the in The demo's Uber demo already. First. And really aggressive play by Cab getting in there. No one gets the midi on the soldier. They Brandy have the spotted heavy the sentry, down. I think. Yep, the sentry's, sentry's taken down. down. It's just engine. Die trying this to be the like saviour, a... but yeah, that's that's the first map. That was really quick. Yeah, a bit of a shame, um, but you saw Bud get a really good round out, and there were signs. There were signs of some really uh, solid play. It's interesting, actually. Bud generally won the second fights, both second fights. I think. Um, yeah. Second part whereas, they won. Yeah. The second part they won was the one where they then just pushed onto last. The other one was basically an even trade. Mm. Damage for that second half was really interesting, uh, with Dai out damaging everyone. Wow. Yeah. 2.1k compared to Cab's 2k. Well, I think uh, Dai might have done just a lot of damage, especially at the end there with his sentry. But mm, I think it would mm. also be um, just a matter of. Cab did a lot of damage when it really mattered, which was during Ubers and on mids. It's a trade off to both, but definitely good play from Dai. MVP still Davey, or are you going to change to the, the Royt club? Um, yeah, I'd say Royt. He's being really solid, getting most picks, most kills. He's being able to play post Uber really well. I told Just you, Just mopping man. up. I yeah, told you. Yeah. It's time to join the fan club. We'll start it on Team Liquid tonight. The Royt Club. Just spilled beer on my mouse pad. Sounds like a disaster. Oh. Hope it doesn't screw anything up. Oh. <laughs> so guys, if you have just joined us, welcome to TF Live. Uh, my name's Yuna. I'm joined tonight by Dubious, and we're casting a Div 3 semi-final. This is the second map right now. Uh, the team playing tonight are Mates and Bud, and this is CP Badlands, if you weren't aware. Probably the most played map ever, so I hope you've seen it before. 
Whoa. But the first map, it seems like it went by so quick. Mm mm. I, I got like one piece of pizza down the, the whole time. It was uh, 18 minutes. Yeah, I was, I was a slow eater for that map, in my defense. <laughs> But yeah, it was, it was actually, in some ways, in some respects, uh, the second half seemed a lot closer. The first half, the 3 0, just seemed like Mate were just being really, winning every really. Mid. Yeah. Walking winning every mid. And... Winning every Uber. Yeah. But we but, should um, be going in a sec. I think Dai is doing a lot for Bud, as shows by the damage. Um, because I think in that fight and that round that they won, he did a lot. He got a lot of kills, did a lot of damage was in the right position, and I think if, uh, he's the player to watch if Buds do happen to get more rounds and are able to fight I agree. Actually, you know how you were saying that, uh, the Bud Scouts have a tendency mm. to be really aggressive? I think Randy is, like, 20 extra health away from getting a 4k all the time, it seems like. Like, he's coming so close to picking lots and lots of players off. So I think, on this map, if he is maybe, like, a smidgen more passive, just tries to I, get a little I, I bit more health. I think I just said in the cast. <laughs> um, I think it's yeah, just, yeah. if he's just slightly more passive, a bit more health, a bit more buffed, I think um, there's a real chance that Bud could just really start being a lot better. And, you know, because this is Badlands, it's a much more played map. If Bud are a less often to scrim team than, say, Mate, I think there's a very high chance that uh, they could be doing really well. Also, As this mid's less demo orientated, and I think Cab's been doing a really good job on those mids, those snake mids. So it should even things up, I think. Make the mids a little more interesting. Yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, like like how you said that uh, Bud has some real powerful scouts. Obviously, Roy, for me, definitely the MVP of the first map, but I think having two really powerful scouts, not that Deadly Hunter isn't a good player, but it just seems like. I think Roy is definitely maybe doing more. But seems like we're having a few crashes on the other team. I think Badlands has been doing this as of late. Like, people crashing as they change to it. Which is a real shame. It's one of the best maps. One of the best maps, mate. Obviously, you are well, not a big pucker if this isn't your favorite map ever. And you don't want to play it all day, every day. Come on, you can't, you can't diss Granary. Grand's okay. Grand's okay. It's a bit... I don't know. Soldier orientated? Come on. We're yeah, both that, pocket mates. Yeah, we are both pockets. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't want to play Badlands. Too many scouts. Actually, I love beating scouts, so maybe that's why I like Badlands. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping this will be a closer map, just because of the nature of how much everyone knows it. You don't really need to practice Badlands as much as a team as, say, the weirder maps, I guess. Yeah, I mean, even though Snake Waters come in as an official map by Valve now, it's still one of the... It's still not one of the staple maps compared to the old Badlands, Granary, and... Was Jeep it. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly... I know people complain about Jeep it. I thought it was a good map. I know why it got removed, but... By the same token, I wouldn't have Process in or Snake. Or Gully. I would just oh. have I would have a four map list. I think um I don't think Gully should be in the map list myself. I think but... it's getting removed next season. I have mm. I have I have uh, my spidey senses tingling about that one, but I'm not sure. I also think no one's liked it since that uh, ESCA LAN. Yeah. With the quick fix allowed. I think it just became obvious to everyone how not fun that map is in a lot of ways. There's also well, it's a very stalemate map. map, yeah. Yeah things about the map like that that just make it boring i don't know it's also one of the only maps where um you can actually get to last from mid at the exact same time that you can get to from mid to second due to the way big door works what? like you can push well you can push straight from mid to last oh, yeah, yeah. you and like a team can kind of circumvent second completely yeah whereas not many maps have that i mean um Badlands has it in a way, but it's got a drop down. Mm, it's, right yeah, it's not quite the same. And you've still got to pass it, yeah. Yeah, but to be honest, actually, I think that's good about Gully, the whole big door thing. I just don't like the way second works. I think it's really not a... There's a, elements about it that are good, but it's trying really... Actually, it wasn't second I dislike. I dislike bits of last. 
just because of how it is. It's I have the same problem with it that I have with Snake. It's just you can lose the push with Uber advantage, and it's not because you didn't execute. And that to mm. me is a sign of a bad map. And you can lose like we saw on the last map. There were a couple of times Mate had 100% Uber ad, got plenty of kills during the Uber, and then they lost post Uber because of how spread out and wide Snake is. Yeah, I mean, in those Uber fights, Mates kind of spread out, let you know the demo and the scout and maybe the pocket take the Uber. Uh, but Bud kind of stuck together in those last fights that I won from what I saw. Yeah, even though like they lost five one. I wouldn't say that it was like disgusting white or anything. It was mainly just uh, mates winning mids really convincingly. Yeah. I hope this map isn't the same. That's why I always like to see Colts for finals, but we're back again guys. Welcome to Badlands. We're about to go and we're on the first rollout. Dubious, take it away mate. Alright, well seems Cab's just- I'm just watching Cab at the moment. He's got a good rollout so far. Seems both teams are opting to go Valley. Just a standard Badlands rollout. Whereas Liam went uh, Window. But it seems mates have kind of stuck around under Valley. Cab got taken down really early. Bud have just taken position on mid, but... They were also mate, forward. Yeah, mate were just able to surround them. I think... Uh, Roy went through uh, maintenance, and while Bud got the early picks, and they got the demo really well. They were in a weird spot, dude. Yeah, they kind of they went on to mid with player disad, and they stuck on their middle point, and mates just collapsed it. Yeah, I don't know why four players stood in like a really small space, and J Davey goes down, but. He traded for Randy and then Cell goes down. Sorry, Cell picks off Timbo, so I think they might wait for players here just because Cab isn't at last yet, but this is going to be 100% Uber versus I'd say about 40% pushing into last, so. Yeah. Oh, it looks like that Uber oh, already. Oh, they straight in. No waiting for Roy, straight, straight in with Roy going for Mike and Cab gets two really quickly, so. But Butter holding this. Yeah, Cab walks really far forward and was able They're to be taken out. They're all so low on Bud, though. I don't, I don't think Davey realizes how low they all are. He could actually jump he in. He could have yeah, gone in, know. yeah, he could have gone in. The collective health on Bud was less than, than Davey's health. <laughs> like, we had a 55 and like a 30 and another 50. Randy, lucky to escape and die on Spy. I've got the Spy cam down. Oh, he's under grey. I I think he really wants to get the med here. Oh, this he's could be huge in. if he gets it. This could be Through huge main. if he gets it. He's seen him too. I think they know oh, they have Oh, no, they yeah. know. Straight away down, and I think they will probably just go as soon as they get Uber here. Yeah, they've got about, about a 40, 50 yard. Cell already walking through underneath, and he's doing a bit of damage too, so... They've got players coming in now. The Pyro... Stopping uh, a bit of the push, but this looks like Mate are going to take it, and yeah. first Just blood quick players Badlands. First blood. Uh, Bud just got basically outplayed a little bit there. They made, a, I guess, a weird decision to all clump together on mid, and then just got wiped, and I don't think Mate really let, co let control go after that point, but both demos are arriving around Liam's the same house. House. Yeah, they're both on house. Both soldiers for Bud walking forward, trying to get aggressive, but, but Cell, Cell nice. just, yeah, goes in on the mid. And the longer this mid goes, uh, more health advantage on mate. And Roy gets, I think, a 3 or 4 down? 4 down, yeah. I mean, that was interesting. Uh, once Bud's med went down, both Roy and Deadly Hunter kind of stuck together use the high ground to just kill the players in Valley and wipe them. Yeah. Really, um, once again, I guess kind of, I want to say weird positioning, but also the mate scouts, like, there I was saying Deadly Hunter might not like, do as much. I think he did a lot of damage that mid. Yeah, so, he got two out of, he got yeah, two Yeah, it was kills, actually two um, and three. For yeah, Roy. yeah. 
So it was both Just cows bloody basically white mopping up, taking the cake. All kinds of off classes for Bud at the moment. But if Mates don't push soon, Bud might get Uber. No, they've, no, they, they've gone in with it. The Pyro is slowing them down, but they do get him eventually. Really need to get some pressure on the point here if they want to cap this. Oh, Liam, big pipes on cab. But once again, this. Wow. Both scouts. Both just... scouts. What was interesting there is that, uh. Liam oh, hit another, a big one quick thing to note is that, um. With the pyro coming in, mates are just using a demo and a scout uber instead of just the normal pocket Soldier, uber. Soldier, yeah. Yeah, and that's a that's enabling them to kill the pyro really early because Bud have used a pyro on every last so far. Yep. Both teams going valley once again. Wow, the bomb for mate really effective it seems. Mm. Mike is so low. He does go down, and all the players have butter in the red, and mates all getting healed and haven't even capped mid. The scout will go back now, but. Yeah, Mike got stuck in a house there, and re uh, yeah, mates just rushed across to their. I think their flank, their Roma, and both their scouts went forward, got kills, kind of forced Bud out, and then the combo was just able to walk across point, take the point, and Bud just had to back up. A deadly Hunter actually got killed on mid by Die just then, stopping the cap. So the combo have had to go back and cap it, but. Finally moving now. Wow, Liam goes down straight yeah. away to a bomb. It's really far forward though. Seems like the mate guys are just running around everywhere picking players off. And that's a wipe. That that seems to me like it was a uh, trying to forward hold, but just trying to. I'm not sure to... what they were doing. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know what the goal is, but that they they popped over here really aggressively, knowing they can get the kills, and it looks like it'll be another round. Just the demo on last, and that should be the first half. Yeah. Well, as I was saying that I thought Bud would, you know, be a bit closer on this map because it's a less needing to practice. Seems like Mate and all their practice is really coming through on this map even more than Snake. Yeah, I mean, it seems that Mate's scouts are just... Work, like, working really well, taking ground, getting kills. It seems that Mate's get the first pick on mid, and then they know that they can walk forward and force Bud out, and I don't think Bud are... Either they're not committing enough, or they're not backing out fast enough, and it's a really hard thing to kind of decide in those situations. Yep. Because I'm sure if uh, Bud committed some of their players simply to killing LF, they could do so on every mid, but... If you do that, you can risk simply giving up mid by sacrificing players just to kill the med, and then everyone else just destroys yeah. your entire team, yeah. I think it's also coming down to just like, there's a lot of class. Um, the class battles that we thought were a lot closer are actually going very much in the way of mate. Like the Roma for mate in uh, Cell. I actually thought it wasn't going to do as well as he is, but he's doing a lot of work every mid. Yeah, he's going in, getting aggressive. He's he's giving room to mates just to walk across point. And that's what uh, Cell, uh, Royt, and Deadly Hunter are doing. They're just getting forward, they're attacking Bud, Wild Bud are in Valley still. And then, yeah, as I've said, they're just able to take position. Yeah, it's, um... It's just not going well, to be honest. Like, mates are just wiping the floor with them to a degree. I'm actually gonna go grab a drink really quickly, dude, just while we got this little break. Yeah, sure. Um, there is another semi-final on in TI vs. Mines, M9s, which is like the Div 6 version of these fellas in mates. So if that's still going on, we might be able to go to it after this. And yeah, sure, sure. So I'll be back in two sets. Yeah.
Sorry about that, mate. Oh, that's fine. They haven't started yet, so... Still yeah. all good. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully, uh, actually, to be honest, if this round... I hope this is close, but I get the feeling it won't be, so... I hope that we can go to another game after this and continue, because when I'm with you, Dubious, I just don't want it to end. Neither, man. It's been pretty good, yeah. So, just before... I hear one team ready up. Just before they've readied up completely, I just... Oh, it's about We're to shout out Land Smash, guys. Well, shout out we to go. Land Smash. Let's do it. Dubious, it's all yours, bud. Alright. Both demo men opting to go house again. Oh no! But Liam's gone window, but Dai goes down really early and it's quite interesting actually. Mates have been able to just hold their crate, kill the players that went behind them, and take the point again. But Mike and Liam did both get out. They're currently being chased, but if they can get out, yeah, if they can get out to last, they can maintain an equilibrium situation, which would yeah, be the first they've had Mike. this entire game. On yeah, last. good escape by Mike. Really good escape by Mike. But that was basically a case of it seemed like to me that mate just had better position on the point. Mate might have lost cell, but they sorry not cell cab, but they just killed all the old players for Bud, who was so far away from heels they just couldn't contest. Hmm. I think Randy needs to change his alias to Rambo after this game. That guy is running into all kinds of soldiers. Unfortunately, Jeez. not really working, so... No, it's... Uh, and yeah. wow, wow, wow. Mate, Liam. almost capped there with Sel and, uh, and Roy, but... Good save by, by Liam, it was. Or was it Timbo, mate? I think it was Timbo. No, it was Liam. My bad, my bad. Yeah, it... I mean, Butter just kind of holding forward here. Looks like they want to contest second. Mate, Cab is going to go down on Spire. Yeah. This is a really good push by Matt, uh, Bud because yeah, they've really been able push. to pop Uber. They've got players on point. Uber's forced at about the same time. And, and LF, is LF is just stuck going out. Down yeah. here. I say definitely going down, but he takes another extra second or two after <laughs> he hit the ground after that. Big rocket. Yeah, I expected him to die on that wall mini, but... Oh. but... Yeah, that's really good, my bud. They're able to pay... About, oh, I think they'll have about a 40-50% ad. They should be able to take second now with uh, the race-ups. All, all, while all players are up by mates, uh, not all players will be in. And currently Cab's by himself in pocket. But are looking to get in on here. Alert. Yeah, just going by uh, Bridge. Yeah, there's a scout behind. Gets scout behind goes quickly. down, but Davy up on the point, smashing Randy. But I think Randy should be okay here for now. Yeah, uh, mates are just trying to play around pocket. Spire's been capped. Couple so different crates. Cell up. gets two, oh. and the the pop force on uh, yeah. on Bud before they've even gotten to gotten into last, and so. Elf is trying to hold relatively forward here with the demo, but I think they're going to back to last just until they get re respawns. Then maybe I we'll mean see it, the push. Uh, yeah. Like, it looked like they were trying to hold forward there, but they forced a mic, and they've now got roughly an 80% at. So they just they look like they're just backing up to last. Going to try to hold it for now. Yeah, but I'm not I'm, sure. Yeah. I don't know why Bud have walked in on, so I think that um, Davey I and... And LF are just going to really run at players here. And, I mean, it's not like yeah, they're scared they of like Ubering they scouts. Yeah. They're not scared of Ubering scouts, so... And, oh, Davey, I straight up to the point. Oh, he goes down, though. He got, he got destroyed by the by the scout. Yeah, and Cab and LF are just kind of stuck on Grey, but LF has to pop to back and, out. Oh, they cap lost. Back out. Randy. Huge. Well, there you go. The Rambo play works for him that time. As long as he doesn't find anyone on the way. Yeah. And I just got news from the, the Truck I Am game. If people uh, haven't checked that out, uh, I Am have won 405 0 
on Vaya and Grant. So good luck to them in the final. Liam going down really early for Bud. Same with Timbo, and it seems mates to have just taken the position. They've kind of stayed back on their train and mid a point and just let their scouts roam and kill things. Yeah. All the players on uh, mate for that mid seemed like they're in green health, like buffed. Mm -hmm. And yet all the bud guys were non buffed slash red about two seconds into the fight. So I think maybe uh, Cab is doing some damage to the scouts at the start or something just to really deny them the ability to fight at mid as, as easily. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Like, every mid's been kind of, I think, cab dealing damage, whereas Cell, Roy, and Deadly Hunter just kind of push forward, and then you just have Davey and LF take up the rear, deal with any player that's behind, and just walk across point. Yeah, they're, it's, they're doing well as a team to really just kill things. And they've got the sniper down main who hasn't been spotted just yet. And he gets Timbo now. <laughs> That's Davey down for Mace. Yeah, the sniper be sniper. So... Ooh, yeah. It's, a cell eventually goes down to Randy, so... No one's really doing anything right now because of that one. Both teams are just gonna kind of park the bus inside, uh... Inside Badlands last and just wait. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Cell... Oh no, Cell's not trying to off course here. And Randy's still sniping. I think it's a good decision to come up soldier. I think this is a this is maybe where you guys go for a, like just a single Uber. If I was Davey, I'd be saying, "Hey guys, I've won lots of Uber fights. Give me give me the Uber. I'll make a play with it. Mm. Let's work from there." I mean, what they could try to do is is what looks like th what they want to do is solo Uber Davey through bottom right, get a pick, force the Uber, and then they can work off that one pick and get an equal uber out. And they popped in, bottom right. And yeah, Deadly Hunter got on the point, they forced the pop in, Roy going after the demo, and he's forced to have to multi-turn, but Roy, Roy just ran on the point after they got off it. And yeah. I think there were four players up for, for Bud when they, like, lost. Yeah, when they capped. It seems that all the Bud players kind of got stuck around main, and then... Yeah, Scout was just able to cut point. And on to mid again. Liam doing some damage, but it seems like Bud have just got no position. Bud are going under with their combo. I don't think this is going to work out that well at this point because, I mean, may have all kinds of position on the point. Yeah. Look at all those red players on Bud, and everyone on mate is buffed. Except LF is down to just 25, but everyone is dead. Yeah, I, they try, I think Bud tried to kind of take their demo and pocket through under and kind of surprise mates, but they were never actually able to get out of under. It took so long as well. Yeah, yeah. Good idea, but uh, maybe not the best execution. And this is 4-1 now with mates having full one more round is, uh, pushing to last. Yep, one more round and they're in the final for mates. and it's. I think it's what they expected after winning every map. Mm. I think they game. have a lot of confidence going into this game. Definitely. It seems like it, eh? Hey? Randy on the heavy, Randy. trying to do something. Yeah. Die on the pyro. And the Uber's popped early by mate and Roy going straight in. Haven't got anything just yet. Actually, oh, wow. two down for mate. This this is very bad. They need to get out. Yeah, die successfully. But they don't want to. Pyro the Uber. Roy just wants to get kills. Guy's getting, uh, he got a reflect kill on Davey Eye. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Deadly Hunter's probably gonna burn to death if he doesn't just die. No. To die. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really good play by Dai. Like, his pyro play worked out, he was able to stop the, stop the Uber coming in. I think too many players from mates tried to come in to that Uber and multi, and oh, Liam was ah, just able to pick him up. Yeah, no, I think what also happened there really early, like the kills, was just the guys trying to go in through bottom right. Just got picked off. And uh, that just made the push really difficult. Bottom right from the team's pushing mm, perspective, mm. that is, sorry. Yeah, yeah, through that under bit. While Bod have capped seconds, mates do have a 40% ad. If I were Bud, I would push in now while you've got the push player. Push now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Before they get and the Uber Rod. Before the Uber Rod actually. They're just getting more and more yeah. players. 
And yeah, you and see that. Uh, that's both that's, Die and Randy together. That's good decision making. But oh. Cell and Davior get three players between Double themselves. Double soldier bomb, yeah. Oh, Davior, oh, big rocket from Timbo. The three guys left all could have died to one rocket potentially, so mm. that's... I don't think they realised that there's some forward spawners for... Oh no, no, they weren't forward spawners, but they're all up, so... Five of us keep going here. They don't have as big a Uber ad, um, but they are already grinding and they've got the crits out, so... This should be interesting then, yeah. Should be. If they can take Spire without having to pop crits, it'll be really good for last, I think. Uh, I don't think they'll even have it yet, and Randy nearly picks off Cab, but just yeah, couldn't I, get the yeah. finishing shot there. I expected mates to kind of be on second and contest from corner, but it seems mates they're are just trying to play really, really pocket. pushed yeah. here, and it's not going as well as I think they'd like. It seems like some of those one-on-one -on -one battles they're winning before just aren't going their way. Mm. Oh. Mike nearly going down to a scout there, have fun. Simo being able to take that. Going in with the crits through bottom right. Odd position for crits. Oh, it's gonna work, maybe? Ooh. LF, yeah, gets does go it. down eventually. And Liam yeah. gets three with it. That's a that's a pretty good crits. Cell killing everyone? But Cell yeah. killing everyone? Cell and Cab just killing everyone. Killing everyone. Yeah. Cell kind wow. of just dropped from respawn and killed two people. Cab dropped down, sticky point, yeah, killed two people. two people. That's really, really clutch. That just saved them the round. Mm -hmm. Now, it uh, seems Dai's gone sniper now. And while mates do have second, it seems they're hanging back, hanging inside lobby. Maybe yeah, I don't just know trying about to the sniper. Uh, to me, it's a dubious ah. class selection. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well it's going to work. It seems like Mate have a lot of position here now and... Mm. Back up by a scout? Yeah. I don't know if Sniper right now when you are down so many players and getting pushed so aggressively, mm. Uber out on the other team, I, it doesn't seem like the best decision. I mean, I think what they expected was that they'd be able to retake Spire really easily, considering that there were no Mate players out, and then Dai would be able to snipe at last, but Mates have just pushed out taken mid without any trouble, but... And Dai goes down as well, yeah. so it doesn't pick up anything on the sniper. And... But it's equal Ubers, but they're gonna, with that pick, they're going to go in. Yeah. And Mate have actually popped a lot earlier and multi a bit, so they're going to have to get out, but Cab picks off Randy, Cell picks off Timbo, they're just getting kills on the flank. And Mike trying to get out, but goes oh. down eventually. Yeah, I mean, even with that relatively equal uber fight, mates were just able to dominate the flank, kill the players they needed, mm, that allowed them exactly. to just roll in. Yep. And it looks like Bud were gonna, like, win that fight, to be honest, given how much laser they popped. I thought I thought they'd pick off a player or two, but losing those players on the flank, we saw it in uh, the Wu SV game. When you lose players on the flank pre-uber, it makes holding very difficult, and the same rules apply to every game, because we're all playing sixes, whatever div you're in. So Definitely, yeah. Don't lose players on the flank when you uber. Yuna's wisdom. And it looks <laughs> like mate are going to push in here, trying to close out the match after this. This has been a long round. Is that wisdom copyrighted? Can I no, use that? No, everyone can use it. Oh, thank god. I'm the, like an Encyclopedia Britannica. But yeah, mates have ubered in. They've got about 20% add from this, but... And Roy just oh. sat on a point. That's a... Uh, that's GG. That's GG, and... Well played to mate. They're into the final, and... Mm. Bad luck to Bud. 5-1-5-1. Five, one, five, one. Roy, MVP. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that last was quite interesting, because... I, mates, he just sat on point. Yeah, Mate's Uber was being pushed out through main, and Bud had more people on ground than Mate. But, yeah, he was, Scout was just able to walk on point, no one noticed him, and it was Cap. I'm just going to check if the Div 6 one's still happening. Uh, unless we want to get interviews or something. But I think... Uh, I'd be... I think it'd be fun to just... I'm gonna go check the Div 6 server right now.
Oh, that was tell that me was, what you find. That was uh, pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, it was. Well, while it wasn't uh, necessarily a really close game, you still saw some good plays by Bud. They were still able to take some take a round each from each map, and they still had some good fights. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't total domination by mates, but they definitely outplayed uh, Bud. Definitely on the flank and with their scouts. Definitely, hundred percent. It just, honestly, to me, it seemed a lot just uh, pure, more practice, better DM out of mates. And, you know, when that's the case, it's hard to, like, you can only do so much mm. with your Ubers and strategy. If you're just losing when you're not invulnerable, it's hard to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, mates do have some DM powerhouses on their team. And that definitely helps. The Div 6 game is currently paused. Hmm. Well, do we want to go in while it's paused? Could do some... It's currently... Could do it's 0-0 zero, zero as far as I can see at the moment. Um, and it looks like the first round. Yeah, I'm down. First round of second... Granary? Map? Is Granary the first or second map for these guys? I'll just check. I'll check, man. I'm already on it. I I'm on it. Granary would be the second map? Gully's the other map, so they're probably one map in. I'll check stats to see who won it. It's a uh, four two to um I'm not sure what the other team is in. This is third go. map. This is third map. Is it? Mm. Maybe? Wait, no. I, I shouldn't have this TV chat. There's two div six semifinals going on at the moment. Yeah, one's already happened. But okay. one's already finished. So it's T I versus Yeah, yeah. I see now. Wow, there's been so many pauses. Sorry guys, we're just trying to figure out whether we can... What it was stage uh, we're at in this 3 six 5 match. to TI. On Gully? On Gully, yeah. So that would put us on the second five. map. I think we could go to it. Second map. Yeah, sure man. Let's do interviews. Do you want to message some of the players? Get them in? Yeah man, I just messaged Royt. Do you have someone from uh, I have Davey. Bud? If I can find Bud? him. Bud? Do you have anyone from Bud? Oh, Bud. Yeah, I'll get to I. Sorry. Sweet. Just, tell, just give them the deets. Tell them it all come and we'll do some interviews for them before we head off to a Div 6 game. Try and catch the tail end of that. Cab, mate, uh, are some more of you guys coming, or just you? Yeah, Dave and Roy and Deadly, probably. Well, I don't know how many you want. Sweet. Oh, it's as many as you guys like. You requested Roy, even though he didn't want to come, so he's oh, coming. I just, I just told him. I, I don't have you guys on Friends, so I just wanted to get the message out. So, since Dubious is uh, 
not unrelenting in his questions, I guess I'll ask. Oh, we got some more. So we're joined by Davey I, Deadly, and I think Roy should be in here in a sec. Hello. G'day, mates. Hey. Hey. All right, I'm back. Pun Sorry fully intended. <laughs> oh, genius um, pun then. Genius. So you guys just won 5151 in the grand final. How does it feel? Semi final. <laughs> you just won into the final. Into the final. <laughs> into the final. Come on, guys. Smooth, smooth, rough, smooth. Um, feels good. Feels so great. Result you all expected? Ah, uh, I wouldn't <laughs> say expected. Nervous. Yeah, we were very pretty stressed about that. Cab was yeah. Cab was dropping nuggets all day. Sleepless night, wasn't it, Cab? Yeah, I suppose so we're more scared of Bud than VSN. We thought we'd lose in this one, but I don't know. Bud just seemed to have like all the form in scrims coming into it. Like we were like stalking their logs heaps, and they were just raping teams we couldn't get rounds from and stuff. I don't know. I think we just match up well against Bud. I don't know. A lot of a lot of our games, um, you know, we we play these, you know, VSN and, and Bud, eat, you know, in scrims each week. We yep. don't scrim a terrible lot, but you know, and they normally like beat us to be honest um but when we turn up for our games i don't know we just all turn up i guess you could say like we're fucking all in the zone and we just we just play our best there and we just somehow win i don't know yeah it, dubious and i were talking about before the match and you can disagree with us if you want but it seems like bud's mm. real strength lies in i guess their scouts yeah, we agreed. Um, yeah. We agreed and with that. Our, our, we planned on focusing this. We were so scared of them that I told Roy, who has like obviously great DM. I said, "Don't, don't duel their scouts, please. Like, even <laughs> though you might want to, like, just don't go near them because they like play together so well. Like, I was watching some of their, some of their demos, and when we've scrimmed them before, like, Di and Randy like always on the same page. Like, play really aggressive, but play off each other really well. Yeah. We were actually thinking that maybe Randy should rename to Rambo, given his play <laughs> yeah, style. But, <laughs> but it seemed like you guys just matched up better in terms of uh, you seemed to take down their scouts. Randy basically got shut down, it seemed like, on Snake. And that it seemed like a lot of their game plan was on Randy doing maybe being a bit more effective. So I guess that was definitely the right call to make. Um, Davey I, Dubious had you as his uh, pre-match... MVP. MVP, yeah. Nah, I'm bad. It's all cab. Do you think uh, you lived up to it on Snake Water? Nah. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think I did that well. How are you? It's all cab and Dave, right. Dave is modest. He, he, he does well. He does use Uber as well. I didn't even He's take young. any of the Ubers. It was all yeah, you use him real well, man. Scout and demo. Maybe on the second map, but it was it was a good win overall. And uh, so I guess congrats to you guys. And die. Welcome, my friend. Hello. Hey, guys. How do you feel? Rushed. It it was kind of it was a bit little bit overall in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we didn't really get to play like second, or no, it doesn't really go back and forth that much. Uh, what do you feel really shut you down in a way? Like, what did you have problems with from mates? Oh, I tried. I tried to go. Along with the team, but I feel like uh, the mates spread out really well, and they have really strong, like just flanking and very strong timing in general. Just uh, collapse on the entire team when you know, like we we like kind of try to chase them out uh, their medic, and they would wait until like we kind of add our ammo and unexpected, you know, just unexpectedness of players still behind and just. Collapse on us. Crossbows. Yeah, LF got a lot LF of kills. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Something because damage he, on one map. He yeah. literally, like, <laughs> spends more time crossbowing than healing, and then, like, boasts <laughs> about how good his aim is. Like, oh, I'm hitting so many crossbows today, and then we're, like, all weak. I'm supposed to be playing demo, but someone took my spot. So I'm <laughs> making up for it. Cool. Things might change come finals. We're still discussing it. <laughs> so I guess that's, like, pretty much... Unless you've got some more stuff, Jubi, I think that's pretty much everything. So, I guess you guys, this no, is an opportunity. Yeah, pretty much everything. Opportunity for you guys to do a little quick shout out. So, just start from our big mate from Bud, Bahumat. <laughs> shout out to you guys for casting. You know, it's Cutie Pie. Kenneth is also Cutie Pie. Shout out to uh, my team, Bud. 
uh, I don't know. Can you guys con uh, contact them for, in for an interview or something? Yeah, I, I don't have them on mates. All right, we'll uh, shout out to mates. Uh, good. Just really, really solid team fight. In general. Good games. Okay. GGS. Cab, yeah. take it away for the mates. Um, this will be good. He has a list <laughs> actually. Fucking hell. I'm a thankful guy. I have a lot of people to think. Um, mate Circle Jack, um, including M9, who are still playing their owl game at the moment. Um, Mamish and Air in particular. ONS, Vision Gaming, especially Voodoo. SBS, Descendants of Prometheus, where most of us come from. Storytime, Rain and Vinti for demo reviewing with us. Bud for the great game. Uh, Damien, Francis, Seeker, and Nicola. And the casters and the cameraman. Thank you very much for casting. Thank that you. Was, that was adorable. <laughs> Davey <or. laughs> Literally everyone kept to said is pretty much the same. Is Which... everyone else in uh, Make and Be Like That? Because um, Deadly? I've got a few extras. Um, apart from mates, I'm like, um, I shout out to Buzzing Hornets. Uh, shout out to Hash, Seeker, uh, Elf, Baldy, Voodoo, Flux, and Squirrel. Oh, and Faith too, because he shared my love on the thread. And also, yeah, Faith, um, bra. Yeah, Faith, bra. And uh, thanks to Snowblind as well. Like, you know, I've messaged him a few times in season. He's been happy to help me out with some situations and stuff. Really appreciate that. That's Snowblind's it. lovely. Mm, he is. Mm. LF? Uh, pretty much the same as everyone else, except for <laughs> Seeker, um, Shrek, Seeker. and serious? Puddles as well. Roy? Just shout out to Bud, shout out to mates, and shout out to you guys for casting. It was a good experience and good fun. No worries, what about, guys. What about Kaki? Oh, and Kaki. <laughs> yeah, Kaki. <laughs> shout out to V3. Uh, yeah, shout out to the V3 old boys. Apparently he banged three reptile. chicks in one day. So, yeah, shout out to that. Rip Our pleasure to cast, guys. Thanks for coming in for interviews, and good luck for your final, and good luck to you, uh, Dai, and the rest of the Bud guys for your third place game. Cheers, man. There's a third place yeah. game? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You can't disband yet. <laughs> Mate, it's you guys versus B3 who don't even exist, so grats on third place. Too far, man. Yeah, Too far. Is. What, they, they don't? They don't. They, oh, do they actually the, not? The they, they, yeah. they were like, weren't there. They had like three people for the semi game, and then they didn't mm. like play. Oh, wow. That reptile's been right now, so. Wow. <laughs> Dai, how do you feel about your third placement now? <laughs> I feel very good, man. Like, I feel like I, I did very well, my team did very well, you know, <laughs> the team just got shot on, because, you know, they, and I mean, I'm mad, holy shit. <laughs> Shout outs yeah. for, for the final games. Yeah, I think we're going to yeah, try, and do, try and get the, the tail end of the Div 6 game, so thanks you guys for coming in for interviews. I think we're going to have to kick you all out, because we've got to get yeah. back to it. Right. Thanks, man. See you later. See you. Good luck in the future. Dudes. Thanks for can casting. Can you send me the link for the um, cast you guys did for Div 3? I'll, I'll send it to you, Ella. Sweet. So, guys, we're just going to... I think uh, I'll give the connect to the SCV. Um, So guys, unfortunately we can't go on to the uh, the Div 6 game because we are human and we do need to sleep. So I think we're just going to call it a night there. Um, so I'm too tired. Yeah, we'll just hand yeah. it to Dubious. Um, mate, who you got to shout out, your first cast? Um, well, shout out to you and Ken for being, you know, great people to cast with. You, Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, um... Shout out to Emerald and Jayblades. That's about it. Awesome. Kenny, anybody? Shout out to uh, the awesome casters we have tonight. Um, and shout out to both the teams that played. It was uh, fun um, videoing it. Um, and uh, since everyone seemed to do it on the other team, shout out to Seeker, because why not? He's always yeah, doing he's work. He gets tonight. all the shout outs. Yeah, every single like, every se Seeker always gets a game. shout out. That's because he does like a heck of a lot for us, like yeah. in the community. So he's a he's an awesome guy. Um, other than that, um, shout out to uh, V. Uh, 
VSN. Uh, now my my old team all growing up now and officially in the finals game you'll see them playing against uh, against mates. Should be great. Should be good, but I don't think we'll be casting it because I think there's some uh, other games which are pretty high up. There's some public service announcements in terms of um, other casts coming up. We'll be doing one tomorrow night with uh, the Div 2 semifinals. Um, I'd have to have it up in front of me exactly which one that is, but it's one of them. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> one that was extended. Uh, that will be with uh, Yuna and Avril. Who's done one one cast before? Should be fun. Um, and then later on in the week, we'll be having Epson Snowblind doing the Constellation Finals, which will be uh, of, of Premiere, which will be doing. Which, who will that be between? That's. Um, Div one is it? Yes, Div one. Div one Constellation so Finals. It'll be Woo vs uh, Truck. Woo vs Truck, correct. Yep. And that then, should be an interesting game. And then to be determined, uh, we will be casting the grand finals, of course, and that'll be our number one priority coming up in the future. And that's the longest shout out slash public service announcement I've ever done. You know. Thanks, Bran. Well, first of all, obviously, shout out to my boy Dubious for casting with me tonight. It's been a pleasure, mate. Yeah, um, yeah, you too. Shout out to Kenneth for staying up late. I know it's difficult being from New Zealand. For one, you have to live there, and for two, you have to deal with the hours when you play TF2. I just so found out I have to wake up early when I thought I could sleep in until midday, <laughs> so, you know. Uh, yeah. Having to break the, break the pattern, so thanks to you for doing all the camera work. Thanks to everyone that tunes in, talks in Twitch chat. Makes me feel good when I alt-tab and there's lots of kappa faces, so I really enjoy that. Otherwise, just uh, shout out to the Fog Boys, YK Crypto, uh, Toaster, all you guys. Um, keep it 3 Hunter, and that's it. Shout out to Pishk. He's yeah, a lad. shout out to Pishk.